Well, hello. Thanks for tuning in. New firmware yesterday for the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Uh, version 01.00.0200. So, in other words, 0 0.0200. Now, it's a gigabyte in size, and that's for the controller and the drone and the batteries. Uh, don't forget to update all three batteries if you've got the Fly More combo. Um, and it took about 12 minutes to do altogether. And the change log was massive, there loads of new features. So let's just see. Um, because I'll go through this list and I'll tell you which problems I've had or which bits haven't actually been included at all. Certainly in my experience. So, uh, added support for focus track, quick shots, that's Drony, Rocket, Circle, Helix and Boomerang. And Panorama in portrait modes. Now, on the good side, I have done a quick shot, the circle, in portrait mode. So I'll just show you that there. But coming on to the second part while it's playing, it says, Optimise the anti-interference ability and transmission distance of the image transmission system. Now, halfway through this... Uh, quick shot that I did uh, we lost signal I was only 200 odd meters away so I was not uh, particularly impressed so I raised the height up a bit more um, got the signal back and tried it again so I've got a circle in um, portrait mode so yeah all good but again signal issues are still uh, still prevalent now next up it says added a two second option to interval time setting when using the hyperlapse after takeoff requires DJI Fly V1.6.8 or later. Now I have looked everywhere, I have tried every different setting possible in you know every different hyperlapse mode and I am still not getting a two second option. Yeah the shortest interval I'm getting is still three seconds. If you go onto the length clips so the total length of your hyperlapse or your time lapse you can now choose two seconds of that but everyone including me wanted a two second shooting interval so i don't know where that is uh, increase the stability of videos when using hyperlapse hit and miss because again it's down to environmental conditions to some extent how much wind's about at the time but when i installed this update last night i managed to go out and uh, do a bit of nighttime hyperlapse i'll show you this here and just before you watch it you'll see that uh, at the end if you look carefully there's a bit of a wobble at the end but again could be wind I don't know moving on increase the dynamic range for hyperlapse that's always a good thing um, I've not noticed any difference to be honest so far but um, again shooting in flat light you know there's not much dynamic range required uh, so I'll have to wait for a nice sunny day to test that Added support for continuous autofocus AFC during video recording. Now this is good because I've had it in the past where I'd say if I've looked at a, a building that's been 50 meters away and set the focus on that, then as you fly away, that fixed focusing distance travels with the drone, so it's always looking 50 meters away to focus. But if you then want to look at something that's a bit closer, then I've had a couple of times where it's been out of focus because it's still looking too far, and I've I've not personally refocused it so that's good uh, increased camera speed when taking photos yes i can agree that that has been done and that's all good that's it the panels and uh, just single shots optimized image quality of recordings at night in d cine light now i've not done much video at night yet so i can't really say on that uh, fixed issue the videos recorded in some scenarios in d cine light flickered i've seen a bit of flickering um, i've not used it enough since the update to see if that flickering's changed so that's a, a work in progress optimize the vignetting effect in dng photos that's the raw photos so that'll be good so hopefully a bit, bit brighter in the corners optimize the correctness of battery level indicators on the rc n1 remote controller i didn't even know there was a problem with it to be honest for that there is an interesting one added usb mode when the aircraft is connected to a computer and usb mode is enabled the aircraft disables image transmission to extend the time for copying footage. Requires DJI Fly 1.6.8 or later. I might try that later on, but it's not something I generally do. I 
fiddle about get the SD card out. Also says the RC has been updated to now accept the Mavic 3, which is great for all you Mavic 3 owners. You can use one control for two drones, one at a time obviously. Uh, added support to download photos and 1080p videos to an external SD card. I'm not sure what that is at all. Ab absolutely no idea what that is, so if you know, please let me know down below. Uh, fixed issue, inaccurate compass appeared in some scenarios. Yeah, I can confirm the compass is a lot better now between the home point or the controller and the drone. That's a lot more accurate. If you move around, you can actually see the tiny little arrow moving more accurately and fix some minor bugs. So yeah, all together, um, a substantial update. Some bits are missing, some bits seem to be fixed. But let me know how you get on with it. I can tell you that the drone flies normally and behaves itself as you'd expect. The uh, my settings haven't changed. Uh, none of my camera settings have changed since the update. The range definitely improves when your Wi-Fi is off. Did some hyper hyperlapsing last night and it lost signal at a certain point. I reset, did it again with the Wi-Fi off and the Bluetooth off and there were no loss of signal at all. So there's definitely something going on there with that. So I think that's still a work in progress. But yeah, overall, perfectly safe. Everything works well. Return to home works well. So whilst it's a good update overall, I think there's still quite a few glitches in there and a few bits missing and a few artefacts left over. The uh, classic one being the feature only available in landscape mode uh, coming up across there when the camera's clearly in portrait mode, as you saw earlier. So I think... I think there might be a version 0 0.210 coming out soon just to tidy all those bits up and to include the bits that were missing. Uh, it does take still photos a lot quicker. Uh, panorama as well. It says that you can do panoramas in portrait mode. I've not been able to find that. I've tried everything. Um, it just won't let you do it even if you have it in portrait mode before you press the panorama buttons and stuff like that. Just can't get it to work. So that's something that's missing. Uh, seeing as that was bullet point one on the uh, release notes. So yeah, come on DJI, pull your finger out, fix those bugs and uh, back to me. If you've not watched my return to home video, um, try it up there. And um, yeah, click the subscribe button, ring the bell and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. See ya.